Welcome to the What the Food Weekly Update, the only food-based news update show on the internet. I'm your host, Ethan Dutcher. It is April 27, 2020. Coronavirus has us all stuck inside our houses, but at least we got good company, great food, and the internet to keep us connected. Let's get to the news. It's now a common misconception that COVID-19 started from undercooked bat soup. Now, this is clearly untrue, but people still believe it because bats carry forms of coronavirus. Many are unaware that bats are even consumed as food. And of course, right as coronavirus fears started to really ramp up in the United States, a food blogger posted a video of herself eating bat soup. Like, what did people think? That the coronavirus thought, wow, this is my time to get discovered. I know it's called going viral, but this is ridiculous. Talk about a influencer. Now this rumor is clearly not true. It can take years to find the origin of a virus. An article from NPR said, Given that some of China's earliest COVID-19 patients were connected to the Hunan seafood wholesale market in Wuhan, it is likely that the seafood market played a role in amplifying the virus. However, there is not enough evidence to prove that this is where the virus transmitted from animals to humans. There is also evidence emerging that among the first 41 patients hospitalized in China, 13 had no connection to this particular marketplace. The path of the pathogen is still unknown. And people eat bats. Whatever. Get over it. Don't judge. A 35-year-old woman was recently arrested for intentionally coughing on produce and other items in a Pennsylvania supermarket, causing over $35,000 of food to be thrown away. When approached, she attempted to steal a 12-pack of beer, but was apprehended. She was charged with one count attempted shoplifting, two counts terrorist threats, and one count threats to use a bioweapon. Meanwhile, the U.S. government, for the first time, has labeled a white supremacist group as terrorists. Turns out all they had to do was cough on a fucking eggplant. Talk about, uh, Osama Bib Lettuce. You gotta watch out for that radical balsamic terrorism, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 after that woman was done in there, uh, there was Isis Burglass. <laughs> Top Chef Judge Padma Lakshmi was being referred to as immoral by some of her fans for posting a cooking tutorial of her bralas and in a tank top. That's right, in 2020, a woman has been told to wear a bra in the comfort of her own home. God damn it. You know what? When I started this show, I promised I wouldn't get political. Not because I think it's not important, but because there's so much political content out there that my opinion is worth about as much as a fart in the wind. But God damn it, some things are more than political. Sometimes you gotta stand for basic human rights. And I will stand. I'll stand not only for the rights of every single American to do what they want and wear what they please in their own goddamn house, but for every single pair of American breasts. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Padma responded to her critics on Instagram by saying, I got some comments last time it was immoral for me not to wear a bra in my own kitchen during the quarantine. So those people should be happy to note that I am wearing two today. That's all I got for you today. Make sure to check in every Monday for more food news updates. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, my website, and the fucking rest. And don't forget to give me a call. If you have any food questions, if you have any needs, if you're making a recipe and you're not quite sure what to do with it, give me a call and I'll help you out. See you next time.